Hi guys, Brian the Squirrel, I am back with another video, and today we are playing a game called Dorky Dorky Literature Club. Now, don't be deceived by the looks, apparently this is a horror game. Uh, I've read up a little about it, not too much, don't want to like spoil everything, um, but basically I've read the little essentials that you need before playing it. Uh, like, I found out that you have to have this open at all times because there's stuff that's gonna pop up on there apparently. Not too sure exactly what to expect from it. But yeah, uh, let's just get into it. Let's see how it goes. Also, uh, with this video, I'm gonna try my best to edit as little as possible so you can actually get to see more of the game. So this does mean it's probably gonna be a longer video and I may even have to split it up into parts. But yeah, let's get into it. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbour and good friend since we were children. You know the kind of friend you never see yourself making today? What? You'd never, you'd never see yourself making today. But it, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Okay. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. So she's a bit of a ditzy one then, I'm guessing. You know, like these people who are just like forgetful and all that. I'm, I'm guessing this is the sort of character. But she's going to chase after me like. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Sorry, <laughs> uh, it's late and yeah. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ah, ah. Oh wait, no, wrong, wrong way. It's ah, ah. I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe only because I decided to stop. Oh wait, no, that's me. I need, I need to get better at reading. Maybe only because I decided to stop and wait for you. You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Brian. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Eh. Well, not really. I, I, I like weirdos. That's, uh, that's just me. <laughs> fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. I, I don't know what this voice is. I've got to give him a voice, so that's just what I'm going with. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near the streets, becoming increasingly, increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you wanted to join a club this year. <laughs> wow, this voice. Uh, did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of the many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Siori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on an average getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh -huh. Oh, it's uh -huh. I am doing really fucking bad with this voice. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialise or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. 
And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat. Uh, what's a neat? Is, is, is that like a SWAT or something? You know, like someone who just dedicates everything to like school? God knows. In a few years because you're not used to the real world? You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise to, you'll give it a try? Will you at least promise you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised they even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. So over exaggeration, right? So yeah, I, I think we all know like at least someone like this. The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stir blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs? Sierra wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Anime is awesome, anyone who disagrees. Pfft. Just anime does roll. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realise that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch up with you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here spacing out, so I came in. <laughs> I apologise for this voice. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. No what? Well, you could join my club! Oh. You could come to my club! Sorry, little mess up there. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, Mimi! Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was aware. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. Fair enough. It, it's already just starting out like one of these like little dating games. That said, my interest in the literature in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member, and that Suki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> uh, don't make promises you can't keep. I, I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if, if she's so cunning that she's had all this planned out. I let out a long sigh. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yay! Let's go! Oh. Yes, let's go! And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Not gonna lie, I would probably do that. <laughs> oh, cupcakes are delicious. I dejected. I dejected. Dejectedly. Bad time with words. Follow Sayori across the school and up the stairs, a section of the school I had rarely visited, being generally used to the third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings the classroom door open. Everyone! The new member is here! I told you! Don't oh, 
See, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to keep doing this, just expect it. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh, I glance around the room. Oh, I need a new voice. Um, Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? <laughs> Way to kill the atmosphere. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, sorry, I wish I could stop, but... Ah, Brian. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. I'm going to forget these voices, by the way. All words escape me in this situation. This club... This... Is in is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you wanted to say something, say it. So sorry. I, I forgot her voice already, Natsuki. I'm doing the same voice. Like, sorry. <sighs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made the cupcakes according to Sayori. Right, so she's she's got an attitude on her, but she makes cupcakes. Decent. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. I, I'm, I'm forgetting the voices. Just, just go along with it, please. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, Natsuki, always full of energy. Oh, anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yori, the smartest girl in the club. D don't say that. <laughs> D don't say things like that. Yori, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. I'm, I'm just... Again, I'm sorry. Just please go along with it. And it sounds like you are... You already know who Monica is, is that right? Yeah, that's right. It's great to see you again, Brian. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful and athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so gently feels a little... Y you too, Monica. Come sit down, Brian. We've made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. Uh, I'm guessing they're doing that to help me fit in, because, like, I, at least I know them two. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey! I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Is this like going to be my first pick? Sayori... Uh, Sayori... Natsuki and Yori walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yori opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take the seat next to Sayori. Alright, well I don't get to pick. But yeah, Sayori is probably going to be my obvious choice. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Ooh-ah! Natsuki lifts the foil of the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! <laughs> oh, she's she's the innocent one, isn't she? She's gonna just be like the little innocent one this whole time. Uh, I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. 
<laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs the first one. Of course she does. She's she's into all that sweet stuff and that, isn't she? You can just tell. Uh, then Monica, and then I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing all over her face. I turn the cupcakes around in my finger to look to, for the best angle to take a bite. Uh, stop for one minute. I think that that's actually true. Why do we do that? We look for the best angle to take a bite from a cupcake. It's, it's odd because no matter what, you're eating the full thing anyway. <laughs> Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing sweet and flavor, uh, flavorful, so full of flavor, yeah. Uh, I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. <laughs> my impression of me talking with my mouth full. Thank you, Natsuki. Uh, why, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Uh, haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Eh, uh, I, I, I thought you technically did. Sayori said. Well, maybe. But no, not for you, you, you dummy. Hey, I'm not a dummy. Calm. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Like, so far, nothing's happening in the files. Uh. Yori returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. Uh, you keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Uh, don't worry, the teacher gives us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea make you enjoy a good book? Or help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. <laughs> that's that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant I meant that you. Mm. I meant that you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I but I at least enjoy tea. I, I, I actually don't. I'm a coffee person. And I don't even drink coffee, to be honest. I'm more, like, just on energy drinks. I'm glad. Yuri faintedly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and then smiles at me. Like, mm, mm, uh, God knows. I don't know how to do it. I was going for, like, some sort of rock thing. <laughs> So what? So what made you consider the literature club? Uh, I was really afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Nah, that'd be a terrible start. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed oh seemed <laughs> seemed really happy here. So that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home here, okay? Uh, so like, is Monica the head girl? Well, yeah, she's vice, well, she's the president, isn't she? So, yeah. As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Uh, Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for many of the other major clubs. Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? Ah, uh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like no nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica... Uh, I'm, I'm doing the same voice, aren't I? Monica really is a great leader. 
You're in odds in agreement. Then I'm surprised that you aren't, that more people aren't in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's for something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. Oh no, a good poem, like... I, I, I like poetry and I do like proper full-on novels. Like, that, that, that stuff does grab me. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow in this club before we graduate. Me too, Monica, me too. Right, everyone. Yeah? We'll do our best. <laughs> so she's American now. Uh, you know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Should I just drop the accents because it's not really working out too well, is it? Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Brian, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh, well, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. I actually do read so. My character's wrong. <laughs> uh, manga? I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Right, so I'm, I'm guessing Natsuki likes manga. If she's like, huh? It looks like she wanted to say something, but keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favourites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. It seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books and not people. Right, so she's the reclusive type, the one who's like more more likely to be found sat on her own reading a book than be out with friends like drinking or whatever. That, 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 so far that's what I'm taking away. I'm trying to find the identity of each of them. Like, I, I've got three of them figured out. Like, Monica, I can't really figure her out yet. Like, I know like leader and that, but it's more the personality you want to find out. I mean, I guess leader is a big part of it, but yeah, let's keep going. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you through a loop? Or oh, throw you for a loop, sorry. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Awesome. Ah, I read I read a horror book once. <laughs> Just once. Like, I, I read it and then I was like, eh, don't want to read anymore. I, I have all of the horror knowledge that I need. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimum, minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. <laughs> Fucking. But if a story makes me think or t takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. I'm terrible with voices. I I, I apologise. Like I severely apologise. Eh, I hate horror. Oh, 
Why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. <laughs> you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind in the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Oh, Sayori, you're awesome. You're just nice to everyone, aren't you? Sayori slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her gaze. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer then yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Right, so Yuri seems to be shy. So I'm guessing that's why, like her writing, she's she's agreeing, like she'll keep it to herself. Uh, but Natsuki seems like the type, like she's all talk, but like when it comes to the big things, like she's no action. But yeah, she's still a uh, bitchy, which I love. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have the writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel more comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Uh. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poem. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Uh, they, they look puzzled. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Yeah, they look puzzled. Let's go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. So, confidence building then. Go on, Monica. She knows the way. That way, everyone is even. Um. Yeah, let's do it! Plus now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. See, I'm clocking on already, like, like confidence in that. See? Isn't that right, Brian? <coughs> Sorry, just got a message. I'll let that tingle. <laughs> Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? What is it? Now that we're back to the origin of the topic of me joining the club. Oh yeah, I said that I didn't want to join a club dinner. I? I bluntly come forth, come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, at and... Um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls are staring back at me with a dejected look in their eyes. I said dejected! Whoa! I'm happy with that. But, but... I'm sorry, I thought... Who? <laughs> you, you all... I'm defenceless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That's it, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey! You really did scare me there for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed! <laughs> and that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh, 
thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. <clears throat> Write a poem for the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Brian, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. She, she's starting to sound like a teacher. I don't like her now. <laughs> I'm joking. I got on well with a, a lot of my teachers. Uh, yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my medi mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. Oh yeah, by the way, here's one thing that I do want to point out. Uh, when you load up the game, the first thing that it tells you is don't uh, is like be aware that if you have depression or anxiety, that this game can affect you a lot. So yeah. Uh, me heading into this game was a bit odd, but you, you've got to push on, haven't you? Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yori and Natsuki clean up with their food. Or clean up their food, not with their food. Bloody moron. Hey Brian, since we're already here, do you want to go home together? That's right, Siori and I n never walk home together anymore. It's because she always stays after school for the, cl for the clubs. Sure, we might as well. Yay! Alright, so I'm walking on with Sayori. With that, the two of us departed the club and made our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yori, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I just need to make the most of my circumstances. I'm sure good fortune will find me. I'm guessing that starts with a... Oh, and that starts with a poem. Pick the words you think your favourite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem most. Right, uh Hmm... I think, right, that I'm going to go with, oh, what's her name, Nat, Nats, Natsuki, was that her name? Be because she's bitchy, and I, I, I like that, but she also, like, bakes and shit. And she's into manga, you know, like, it's, it's similar enough to my comic books, so, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go with Natsuki, so I just need to figure out what she likes. Uh, so we've got Judgment, Forgive, Intrigue, Bouncy. Uh, I think Judgment will probably be the one. She seems a bit judgy. Oh, wait. No. Uh, right. Fair enough. Um, let's try Silly. Oh, no. That, that one was... Yeah. Uh, Lost, Beauty, Massacre, Precious. Massacre? Oh no, that's Yori. Right, so Yori's the... Right, so we don't go for the, you know, angry ones and that, because that'll be Yori. Uh, so let's try Puppy. Alright, Puppy. Okay then. Uh, candy. Uh, Valentine. Okay, so, right, we've clocked on. She likes the good stuff. Oh, the sweet stuff, like her sweet cupcakes. Right, I get it. I get it. Uh, tenacious, grief, daydream, desire. No, wrong one. Uh, peaceful, scars, vacation, fear, play, hop, lucky. Let's go peaceful. Oh, we're, we're gravitating to more, more towards the other two at the minute. Uh, strawberries are sweet, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, comfort, pain, lipstick, sparkle, ambient, kitty, fluffy, uh, merry, sweet, oh, pardon me, uh, misfortune, unrestrained, music, no, uh, cover, a tone, amazing, despise, pleasure, amazing, we're hitting more to Sayori, okay, fair enough, I guess, uh, pink, uh, sing, yeah, we're hitting more towards Sayori. Uh, cry, mouse, family, waterfall. 
Destiny, shame, warm, intellectual, sensation. Intellectual is going to be Yori in it because. So it's not only the dark stuff, it's like the smart stuff as well. Uh, sensation? Oh no. Right, uh, Lollipop. I have no idea who we've, ju who we've worked more towards. Uh, but yeah. Uh, hey again, Brian. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. At least he talks like me. Nah. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Yeah, I, I, I try to keep my word at least. Well, I'm back in the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone's already hanging out. Thanks for keeping an Ugh. Thanks for keeping your promise, Brian. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Uh. Oh, oh, come on. It doesn't. It... Sorry. <laughs> oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Mickey Mouse over here. Sayori told me he didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you've certainly become a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Mm. Natsuki finds it herself stuck between uh, Monica and Manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into a seat. <laughs> oh, Natsuki's awesome. Don't worry, guys. Brian always gives his best as long as he's having fun. That's true. If I'm having fun, I will give 110%. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking and cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy. It's distracting. I'm messy, so... Yeah, this character isn't like me. And you almost set your house on fire once. <laughs> yeah, like I said at the beginning of this, she's, she's going to be the ditzy one, isn't she? Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might, I might be a little jealous. How come you and Brian can become good friends too? Woohoo! <laughs> um, Sayori. <laughs> As usual, Sayori seems obliv ob oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Sayori even brought you something to read. Some. Something to read? Fuck's sake. It's, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked because of the fucking literature. Oh, oh! Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, wait, Sayori. Eh? Me? Uh, not really. Don't be shy! It, it, it's nothing, really. What is it? <laughs> Never mind. Sayori made it so... Uh... Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry Yori, I wasn't thinking. <clears throat> I guess it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Eh, is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal about it if you don't want me to. <clears throat> Alright, well here you go. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I was, I was I was bloody right. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want. This is well, I think she's trying to flirt, which is kind of awesome. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. 
I look forward to hearing what you think. So like this, it must be a book that she's read or something. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the Cora. Cora? Corner. Yori fa Yori's face seems to be buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Also, oh no. Eh! I hear Natsuki utter an, uh, an expirated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I, am, I approach her in case she needs a hand. <coughs> oh, different setting. Lovely. You look for... Oh, you looking for something in there? Freaking Monica! She never puts my stuff back in the right spot! What's the point in keeping your collection organised if someone else is just going to mess it up? Natsuki, Natsuki slides a bunch of stat books across the shelf. Manga? You read, ma you read manga, right? Uh, uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. So yeah, like comic books, you, you just can't admit you're into it if you're talking to someone unless you can unless you can find out where they stand on the situation. How did you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what is that supposed to mean? Uh, I see. There's a ton of lone vol... Oh, there's a long volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. I curious, uh, curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better! Seeing a box with one book missing... Oh, seeing a box with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get clo I get a closer look at the box that she's admiring. Par Parfait girls. Is that a is that an actual thing? I I'm not going to look it up. Parfait girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. <laughs> Same. That probably means it's either way out of my def demographic, or it's simply terrible. <laughs> oh, lovely. Uh, it's, it's either that it's complete crap, or it's just, like, not the sort of genre that I read. Like, I'm a proper stuck-up stuck twat, though. If you're gonna judge, you can do it through glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Brian. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. Well, obviously. In fact... Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book straight into my hands. Uh, I stir at the cover. It features four girls in colourful attire, striking animated feminine poses. Uh, you know, like this game. It's exceedingly more. I don't know what more means. Moving on. Don't just stand there. Oh, uh, huh? Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes her seat against the wall and... Oh, beneath the windowsills. She pats on the ground next to her, signalling for me to sit down. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read it at the same time like that. That's true. Eh, why is that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. D don't just say that! You made me feel weird about it! Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Ah. Oh. It's just like me to scare the girls away. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sat sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say that it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki inches closer, reclaiming an additional space where she hopes 
While she hopes, I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I've read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? I do this with TV shows, like with Supernatural, I must have re gone and rewatched the first season like 50 times, I'm not even joking. It, when you're really into something, you can get really, really into it. Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've finished read, after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I... I can't, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school, like this game. It, th th this seems, it seems pretty, what's the word, meta at the minute, I think. <laughs> Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grow out, I kind of grow out of these since it's a rare for the writer to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. So, what should I expect from this? Is there going to be a plot? Well, obviously! You think I would enjoy something if it didn't have a plot? You dickhead! I mean, well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like, there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. But that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like when they get all their backstories and when some of the romance starts to happen. Like, what really makes it good? S there's still, like, n this doesn't seem like a horror game. Have I been tricked? Like, there's nothing showing up on the side and... Like, I, I just feel like I've been tricked here. Like, it's not a horror game. But we're going to continue. We're, we're going to continue. That's really what makes it so good. There are so many touching parts. Ah, is, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> hey, wait. What's that supposed to mean? Ooh, ah. <laughs> Uh, that, that's like in, in most of the like Japanese uh, animated cartoons. And, what? <laughs> like the, the jaws open pretty wide. What? <laughs> uh, Natsuki gives me a little shove. I just meant that I haven't seen you. Haven't yet seen you at your full power. Power level of over 9,000. <laughs> Good save. Ah, th this chapter seems like it's about baking. This is a guess, but there is a lot of... But is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well... Natsuki pauses for a moment, as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah. Why does that matter? It doesn't, I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking a lot too, right? That's just a coincidence. I just happened to get into baking around the same time as I got into this manga. <laughs> yeah, of course you did. Like I would never do anything because it's in a manga. I feel bad for anyone that impressionable. Uh, I can be that impressionable, not even kidding. <laughs> Definitely not a co coincidence, I literally just said that. Uh, I guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, all of the hobbies to pick from in a manga, this is definitely one of the better ones. Yeah, because you can give me food. Not to mention, she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? Jesus Christ. I forgot that this, this is the way that it's drawn, and it makes them look like 11-year-olds. Uh, we read on for a few more minutes. I've finished a couple of chapters at this point. Are you, sh are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something with... S sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Puzzled. Hmm? You don't? Um, 
Oh, her eyes just moved. Uh, awesome. That's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? You don't show your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Uh, so sorry. Hmm. Like I could ever get any of my friends to read this. They just think manga's for kids. Not gonna lie, you kinda look... young. I can't even bring it up with them without them being all like, Eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. I get that we're wrestling. <laughs> oh, you haven't grown out of wrestling? Well, well what, what's wrong with you? I, I, I just love wrestling. Don't judge me. It's not, for, it's not just for kids, you know. Well, PG era it was. <laughs> But we can forget about the PG era. Uh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are into it. I'm already kind of a loser. I guess I aggravate towards others' losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? Woman, well, I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> Pardon, I apologise. I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Eh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it... Well, it's not like it solves any of my problems. This is still bitchy. I like it. I like this. This is just awesome. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Uh, uh, so? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori is my favourite character. You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... Eh... Uh, I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish the chapter. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast to her usual bossy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favourite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki, for whom it's a rare experience, the thought makes me smile a little to myself. See, th this is all cute. Like, there's no horror here. I don't get what's going on. Like, is it going to take a dark turn? Okay, everyone! Eh? Are you all ready with today's poems? Eh. Oh, come on! Could your timing be any worse? Sorry. I just need to make sure we have enough time. Though you two look pretty cosy over there. <laughs> eh? Ah! Natsuki suddenly noticed how close she'd got into me. She hastily... She slides herself a good 12 inches away. Yeah, I always have that effect, unfortunately. Alright. Guess we'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Uh, yeah, but... Monica just said... Don't be dumb. Take it home with you. Eh? Is that really alright? I say the... I say that mostly because I really didn't plan out on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course. It would take forever to finish if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one by, by tomorrow and then we can start the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. <laughs> this girl's intense. By tomorrow? I only got part way through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if... I get through this, but I suppose that's ne a necessary f sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? Alright then, um, I stand up 
Uh, I returned to where I put my stuff and carefully slipped the book back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Uh, yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I write poetry. It's not, it's not actually embarrassing. It just lets you get a lot of shit off your mind. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's here, why don't you find someone to share it with? I can't write! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral knot. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica, Monica's pristine writing from where, I, from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Whose poem should I read first? Uh, let's go with... You know what, let's go with Sayori. She's my best friend, let's go with it. I definitely feel more comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. She's my good friend after all. This is a good poem, Brian. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? Hey! There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm, j I'm really happy that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how, really, you're a part of the club now. Oh, right, yeah. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing right in front of you in the classroom. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Brian. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this is for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motives here, but then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason that I joined, knowing how much all of this means to her. Yeah. I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of saying thank you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Right. Oh, music change. It's nice and soft and sweet, this one. Uh, Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like I missed you. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. The sleepy. <laughs> Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Oh, best poem ever. Like, legit, it started out re really lovely, and then it just ends the best way ever. I want breakfast. Me too. Sayori? This is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I disagree. You can. I forgot to do it last night. Well, uh, that at least makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I'm still trying my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out really nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that. Oh, especially that last line. I made eggs and toast! <laughs> oh, nice. Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. <laughs> well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica is the best! Uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever! 
Well, I guess I'll look forward to it then. She's so chipper, I just love that. Uh, let's go with Natsuki. Natsuki's bitchy, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um... Um... Natsuki rereads a poem. Never, never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Uh, what, what, what's the point in sharing this in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other stuff. Yeah. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I wanted to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Yeah. I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were, you were supposed to show me a dumb poem and made me go, Ha! Well, that's not great, but let me show you what real literature, lo literature looks like. And you ain't read it! I hope you're happy. So, in other words, you liked it? Yeah. Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Yes, you so! You, you just... You, you don't understand anything, do you? <laughs> She's pissed off at me. I I already told you, you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're self-important. Pretty sure I've never actually said that. I say mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Yeah, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me ever done. Right. Oh, it's different music. Like you're getting different music for each of the people. I like this. Uh, eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try. That's about it. <laughs> no, lovely poem there. Lovely. Yeah, I told you you weren't going to like it. I liked it. Huh? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I don't like it? Ah, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't take my writing seriously. But... But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. <clears throat> the, the, the voices are starting to kill my throat. See, everyone around the great things can be really disheartening, so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the nice things. But the other nice things about simple writing is they put more weight on the wordplay. So I set up for a rhyme at the end, but made it fall flat on purpose. It all brings out the feeling of that last line. So you did. Uh, I, I guess more went into it than I realised. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. I didn't expect that from the... You didn't expect that from the longest, youngest person here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humour her with... The cla with that last comment. I don't really care about how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take it away from her. Uh, let's go with Yuri. We'll go with Monica last, because hers is probably going to be the, like, the top class one, top tier or whatever. Actually, wait, no, Yuri's like the intellectual, isn't she? Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine, don't voice yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I, I guess that it might be after reading through it. Uh, so it's that bad? 
no. Did I just raise my voice? I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help notice that it's been several minutes and we haven't really gotten anywhere. It might be... It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Eh, um... It's just there are a lot of specific writing habits that are usually typical with new writers and have been through that myself. I, I kind of learned to pick pick up on them. I think they most... Ugh. I think the most noticeable thing I recognise in new writers is that they make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to make a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. And in the end, the end result is that both the style and expression are weakened. So basically, yeah, you're saying I'm shit. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanour totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different techniques at, that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together. It's probably the most difficult part. It may take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased though. Biased? How? Um. well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about other people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologising to herself or to me or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamingly as if the opportunity is rare for her. Which it's it, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghosts under the light, I think that says. It's kind of hard to read this. Uh, sorry if I go off camera here. The teardrop. What? Right, I'm I'm gonna leave that there. Give you a minute. Because I, I honestly can't read this. If you guys can read it, brilliant. Like, take away from it what you can. But the truth is, I can't read that. It may be because it's really late and I'm tired. But I, I just honestly can't read it. Hopefully that was enough time. I'm going to click off in 3, 2, 1... Clicked off. Uh, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. Yeah, well, it's not that it's terrible, it, it's actually proper calligraphy, it's like great writing, but the problem is, I just can't read it. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is very pretty. Yeah, that's a relief. Also, I like. Oh, also, I like the poem, even though it was short. It was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. I probably do need to know what's written on the thing, so I will be going back to it. I will go back and look at it, but off camera, so I'll know a bit the basic gist of it. Ready for the next episode, because I think I'm going to end it after this day. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be a, I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easier to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yori? Yeah, huh? Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Brian. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only get a glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts and feelings and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically 
compared to a ghost. Lingering in the last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. Pretty deep then. And soon we'll be left with nothing. That's a pretty that's a pretty depressing poem then if it's all about like being left without and like just everything fading. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you can pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Right, so we're on to the last one and I'm guessing we're getting closer to the end of the day then. Hi Brian! Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Like doing these voices is really draining my throat. I'm glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you have any suggestions for the clubs like new activities or things that we can do better, I'm always listening. Uh, it seems pretty decent so far. Don't be afraid to bring these things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Actually, I do have a suggestion. Start killing each other or summer. Like, it's meant to be a horror game. Like, just start slashing each other or something. Like, nothing's even came up on the Look. Exactly the same. It's exactly the same as it was. Yeah, I got told to watch out for this, and I'm like an hour in. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better at just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, I want, uh, want to share your poem with me. It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Brian. We're a little more embar we're all a little more embarrassed today, you know. You know. But it's but it's that sort of barrier that we all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mhm. Mm I like it, Brian. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> I am bad with this. Uh, oh, jeez. I've never said jeez in my life. Uh, no, no. It kind of makes me think that it's something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer too. So take it as a compliment. <laughs> if you say so. Yeah. By any chance, have you read anything by Shel Silverstein? Shell Silverstein? Never heard of it. Eh? Maybe a long time ago. He's famous for telling a lot of kinds of stories in just a few simple words. His poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. And sometimes they're only a few lines long. They may even feel like they're writing, written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express the views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Nasuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe, maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They may be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. I'm sure I'll end up uh, trying different things a lot. It could take me a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Jesus, we're an hour and 15 minutes in. This is going to be a long video. I, I apologise for how long you've had to sit through this. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find the one that suits you most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you to worry about have to worry about impressing things or impressing them or anything. Uh, good point. Don't change yourself to fit in with any, uh, like anyone else. You are you. Be you. You'll find people who will accept you for being you. So there's literally... Uh, I'm, I'm actually putting a serious message into this at the minute. But yeah, don't change yourself just to fit in with other people. There's literally no point to it. I've done it so much in my life. And the happiest that I've found myself is when I just stopped. Stopped caring whatever anyone thought of me. 
<laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. That's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. This is like proper solemn, like... Uh, hole in the wall. Could it, it couldn't have been me. See the direction that sparkle protrudes. A noisy neighbour, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know, I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas? Oh, my retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realise now that it wasn't looking in. It was looking out. And and he on the other side was looking in. Oh, he on the other side was looking in. Yo, that's deep. I like proper deep. Just why? You don't have to be so deep. Well, it's a poem, so you kind of do, actually. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very free for him, if that's what you call it. I'm sorry, I'm not prob I'm probably not the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style's got pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of people, a lot of poems have been putting infinite emphasis on the time in between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. Was that the inspiration? What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, I'm not sure how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixi fixated on a specific point. Pardon me. If you try so hard to make it perfect, you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big, dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for the day. Thanks for listening. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. As if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they are just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. So this is lit uh, this is literature club after all, I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yori and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yori smiles sadly. What? What's with his language? Eh? Huh? Did you say something? Ah, oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns to the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, oh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute! Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Uh, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. It was trying to say something no I was trying to say something nice. Eh! You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really did come out that nice at all. Um... Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori likes it. And Brian did too. 
So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time embellishing my writing stuff. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. <laughs> and Brian liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki stands up. Oh, they're, they're pulling me into the shit. Ah, oh, I didn't realise you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh, uh, that, that's not what I... Eh, uh, you just... Yuri stands up as well. You're just jealous that Brian appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Ha! Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? And that you're full of yourself? Uh, no. Uh, if I was full of myself, I would be deliberately going out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Yeah! Um, is everything okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as Brian started showing up. Oh, Jesus. No, no need to grow your boobs for me. Like, just no need. Natsuki? Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! I don't like fighting you guys! Suddenly both girls turned towards me as if they not only just noticed I was standing there. Brian, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true! She started it! And if she could get over herself and learn to appreciate it, that simple writing is more effective, then this would never have happened in the first place! What's the point of making your poem all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out of the reader and not force them to have to figure it out! Help me explain that to her, Brian! Wait... There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. My throat's going. I'm gonna to have to end this episode really soon. Like it's already. This is gonna be like an hour and a half video. It's the only way I can convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting limiting yourself. It's also a waste of time. You understand that, right, Brian? Um. Well. Uh. How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So, of course, it's going to be... Right, uh, I don't really want to go with either of them, because it's, it's just going to set off this big argument, isn't it? I, I could go with Sayori, like, just ask her to help me, but then I'll just be running to Sayori for everything. Uh... Let, let, let's see Ori, come and help me. N N Natsuki. Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. So instead I turn to Yori. 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 But Yori's expression is defenseless. It's so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Jesus. Say Ori! <laughs> yeah. Everyone is fighting and it's making Sayori... Everybody's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Brian! Well... Well, that's our problem, isn't it? This isn't a buyer. Huh? I, I agree. It, it's unfair for others to interject in their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yori what a stuck up J she's been. She will never... It's your, Im it's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me! Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why, exactly why no one likes you! Stop! Bazooki, yeah! You guys are my friends! Uh, I want everyone together and be happy! My friends are wonderful people! And I love them because of their differences! Bazooki's poems! They're amazing because they give so many feelings with just a few words. Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint a beautiful picture in your head. Everyone is so talented, so why are you fighting? Be because... Well... Elsa! 
Her sick is cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And the only boobs are the same size as they've always been. Oh thank god. Don't want pe I don't want that pressure of people perking up their boobs for me. Too much. Damn beautiful. Sayori. Uh, uh. Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayori is vice president, I whispered to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, to be honest, I'm, I might come off as a good leader and I can organise things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah, it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Siori is amazing in her own way, isn't it? Isn't she? You could say that. She might be in her head, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. Uh, it's an odd thing to say. Uh, yeah, that makes two of us. You could count on me. It, it is just odd. Uh, Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk with her a little more. Right, so apparently I want to talk to her more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How do you feel about us all sharing poems? It was all... It... It was lots of fun. I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Brian, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing talking to everyone about. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Maybe you'll learn something from your friends too, so your pro poems will turn out even better. Yeah, I think to myself, I did learn a little bit more about the poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with a newfound determination. Ben! Ready to go home? Sure, let's go. Sayori <laughs> beams at me. It's truly has been a while since Siori and I have spent this much time together. Yeah, this day went on longer than the first. I can't say I'm really not enjoying it either. Sayori? About what happened earlier. Eh, what do you mean? You know? You know, between Yori and Natsuki? Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen anything of, of, like this. I'm, I'm just going with that because I missed it. I accidentally clicked too fast. I promise they're both wonderful people. Y you don't hear them, do you? No, I don't hear them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew! You know, Brian, it's nice that I get to spend a lot of time with you in the club. But I think you seeing... Seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Sayori hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulders. I said that to myself m more than her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Right, so I can see the save is here. I'm going to save it there. Uh, because we are an hour and a half in. This is the longest video I've ever done. Uh, and I'm not going to edit any of it. Because I want you guys to experience the full game. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this. Uh, there will be a part two. I'm going to continue this game until I actually finish it. it. It seems fun. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying it so far. But it's not a horror game, is it? Like, it's been pa painted as a horror game. But it's just, it's just not. 
I will play a horror game in the future, I promise. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys did like this video. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like. Comment down below, like, your opinions on how this game's going so far. Like, do you like it? Uh, and if not, let me know that as well. Um, but if you, like, know loads about the game, please don't ruin any of the story for me. I kind of want to play it, just play it through. Uh, I, I've read up a bit about it, but that's about all I really know. So, yeah, please don't ruin it for me. Uh... But yeah, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you can always stay up to date with my content. And yeah, I will catch you guys in part two.